Yeah, how you doing everybody? It's still January the 12th, uh, 2010, and it's coming up to 8 o'clock in the evening. And uh, normally I wouldn't do a potion like this, a video potion like this, but uh, I felt I had to do something about it because uh, two of my colleagues, two friends of mine in the North of Ireland were on to me about it and wanted to know what I thought about it over the last couple of days. And I hadn't really given any thought about it. So I spent this morning, part of this morning, thinking about it for a couple of hours and uh, I'm just, as a result, going to make this this little video and it's about Mrs. Iris Robinson and about Peter Robinson and as I say, normally about things that would be of a sexual nature, I would have not make any comment. I, it's none of my business, I have no interest in it. What adults do has nothing to do with me. But when it steps over into politics and in the economics and I am interested in it and specifically when it threatens to bring down a, a regional government of the UK I am I am interested in it so for what it's worth this is what I'm this is what my little potion and it starts with the woman Iris Robinson and uh, as I say I don't want to go into her personal affairs or whatever not, I don't believe that's anything to do with it by the way in, in the whole scale of things the way that I view this is, this is 90% economics, about 5% or 6% politics, and the rest is social in nature, sexual in nature, okay? But the bulk of it is economics, personal economics. And uh, it starts off with this woman, and this woman, as I say, had a relationship, and out of that relationship, she either wanted or needed to raise 50,000 pounds sterling. So I pose a simple question. Why did she not raise it? She was a wealthy woman in her own right. Her income last year, her gross income was around £250,000 sterling. So she had probably a net income of about, I'd say between three and £4,000 a week. That's a colossal sum of money. Why did she not go to a credit union or a small bank or her own bank and just tell them I want fifty thousand. I'm, I'm doing. A, I'm doing. I'm getting in a business partnership with somebody, and I want to borrow fifty thousand. And I would. None of this would have arisen. No, she has to go and hit two of her friends up. All right. So, on one part, we have a seriously greedy woman. Okay. Then, to deal with her husband. The husband claims he knew nothing about it and last year what happened was his wife tried to commit suicide and all of this came out in the open. The following day he goes in the storm as if nothing's happened. He addresses the assembly as the first minister as if nothing's happened. Or maybe he wasn't the first minister then. It doesn't matter. He was a minister of, of sorts anyway then. Uh, but I pose a simple question. When all this came out and he knew about his wife's transgressions and the fact that she had borrowed this money for these nefarious purposes, that's all you can describe, strange purposes. Why did he not step into the breach and say, okay, uh, my wife has a problem, uh, you know, a psychological problem at the moment. I, I cough up the 50 grand. My marriage is worth 50 grand. I'll cough it up. Sort it out instantly. On a day, just go and get 50 grand out of a bank. He was a man of serious important. Of serious import. He's a bloody minister in the government. Go and get the 50 grand and pay the people off. And Bob's your uncle. The problem doesn't exist anymore. It's a personal problem within their family. No. No. So we have one greedy woman who probably needs some sort of psychological help. And we've got one greedy husband who obviously needs some sort of psychological help. That's where I come from on the matter. It's all economics. It's down to the two things. You know what I mean? I talk about it all the time. But... The money button has been pressed on both these people and been found seriously, seriously wanting. we talk later. Let's hope it doesn't bring down this assembly. That's all. That's the main thing. Never mind about the, never mind about the money. 